Did you review how your year went by? Well, I certainly have. Hi everyone, my name is Harito Srivastav. I'm an IT project manager, bestseller author, certified mentor, and a public speaking coach. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the things I've done in 2021 and also a few things that I missed. I hope you will like it. Let's start on the work front. I work as a project manager in TCS and apart from doing the regular deliveries to the project, I did achieve a few things. Number one, I became a silver certified mentor, a TCS silver certified mentor, which is a huge, huge achievement for me. I also became a contact stream also, or also I did a number of trainings to keep myself abreast with the technology process and domain thing. So that was number one. Number two, let's talk about this YouTube channel. When we started the year 2021, we had somewhere around 200 subscriber 220 and now we are 384 subscribers so it's a gain of around 163 our total views have gone close to 25000 which is up by 13000 and our total video count is going to be including this video is going to be 150 videos which is double of last year now to give a little bit more about the videos we have close to 40 inspirational interviews 12 blogs and 10 plus book reviews. So I hope you go through the channel and see the kind of content that have been put in there for a couple of years. And if you like that, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, share. Number three, podcast. Many of you know, I started a new podcast on the 1st January of 2021 called Small Town Bigger Dreams Podcast. Now that has since published 27 episodes so far in this year. I had promised I'm going to publish about roughly an episode every two weeks. So sort of met the goal. And we have 350 plus plays that the number of time people have listened to the podcast. So roughly about one person have listened to the podcast every day. So, so, so grateful for that. Thank you. One of my favorite things as part of my morning ritual is go through various books and I love reading books and I'm so happy to share this year I completed 14 books. Now for a few years I was not reading at all and I'm so happy that I've restarted my book reading. So now I'm going to show you all the 14 books that I've read in 2021 and you'll probably get to know. So let me start. The first book is The Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. It's an amazing book about creative thinking and creative minds. And I loved every bit of it. Book number two, which I finished last week itself. It's called 12 and a half by Gary V. Gary talks about 12 skills that are really, really essential for leadership, for you to grow as a leader, including tenacity, including humility, including courage and and a lot more things. And he's been really, really candid. It's an interesting book, so I like that. Number three, The Story of Toastmasters by Ralph C. Smedley. This was, again, uh, present, uh, gifted to me by one of the district, Toastmaster district leader. I love this book by Ralph C. Smedley, which talks about how it all, the, the revolution of Toastmasters started around 95, 90, uh, 95 to 97 years back and in fact 10 more years back so a great book if you want to know more about Toastmaster and my next book is also actually related to Toastmaster which is a handbook for building and sustaining vibrant Toastmaster program in cooperation by past Toastmaster president Pat Johnson DTM so love this book a lot of it is about how do you build a club in a corporate environment? How do you sustain that? How do you help it thrive? So great book. Now we are moving towards very, very interesting book. The next one, which was actually recommended by my dear friend Abhishek Deraj is called Making Breakthrough Revolutions Happen. Making, sorry, Making Breakthrough Innovation Happen by Poros Munsi. Now this is an amazing, amazing read for not only for Indians, but for people across the world that how you can take a situation which is 
so so daunting so so difficult and you take it forward to different level whether it's it's the public administration whether it's the eye surgery whether it's you take one small product and do it whether you are part of a uh, uh, whether you are a part of an international uh, mnc but you still grow your local brand out of it so amazing amazing read the next one is yes the probably the blockbuster blockbuster book of the year the high five habit by mel robbins i got this as a pre order and love every bit bit of it i'm i'm thinking maybe i should go through that in 2022 once again amazing amazing book if you have not checked it out do go and check it out mel robbins also completed 1 million subscriber on youtube so congratulations to mel on that i am pretty sure all of your viewers really learn a lot as as i learn a lot from you next book again a recommended by a district toastmaster district leader is called what got you here won't get you there by marshall cole smith again amazing book if you want to take it to the next level loved a bit the next book that i read is very famous book it's called eat that frog by brian tracy brian tracy it, it's a collection of short uh, lessons that you can take in your life to actually achieve what you want to do so eat that frog next one is again a recommendation from my youtube subscriber she wanted me to do a review i could not do a review but i've gone through the book it's called ignited mind by late dr apj abdul kalam very very amazing book it's a collection of all his speeches and talks and incident that happened to him for uh, 10 20 years before he was gone and it's, a, it's an amazing read you must check it out next one is recommended by a dear friend gaurav gandhi it's called designing your life build the perfect career step by step i i found that book interesting uh yeah i'll i'll keep it to there the next three books are again very very famous books and i loved every bit of it number one of it is yes how can i forget atomic habits the global phenomena by james clear which which not only tells but actually shows you the way how do you build habits in your daily life going on and on and all the next one and my second last book of the year if i may say is the everyday hero manifesto by robin sharma i've done a review of the book in my channel and i'll, I'll i'm going to put the link over here but uh, it's amazing book it's not a typical robin sharma book but it's a sort of a memoir memoir and uh, biography and collection of stories so if you are one of those either do check it out and you can check the reviews wherever it comes <laughs> all right the last book of the year which was again a gift by a dear friend and toastmaster leader antonio uh, antonia is called start with why with simon and it why is it that uh, when when harley davidson launches a new bike people go crazy when apple launches a new phone there are queues which go on for kilometers so this book talks about why is it so important to start with your why versus what or how so amazing book by simon sinek do check it out i loved every bit of it so that were the 14 books that i've read in this year i five habit atomic habits big magic everyday hero manifesto making breakthrough innovation happen start with why designing your life what got you here won't get you there there's another one man search for meaning which i don't have physical copy now uh, by viktor frankl amazing book again ignited minds by dr kalam a handbook for building and sustaining vibrant toastmasters program and corporation by pat johnson story of toastmaster by rav smedley eat that frog by brian tracy and last but not the least 12 and a half by gary v Let's move on to another aspect which I really treasure and enjoy is being part of the Toastmasters community. At this moment, I am actually member of three clubs. I am the president of Basing Stoke Speaker. I am the treasurer for Global Online Advanced Toastmaster and Online Only Club, and I am also a member of the Unique Hindi Toastmaster Club of Delhi. So so proud to be connected with all the all the three clubs. 
And also I embarked on a journey to be an area director in Toastmasters uh, since July. So I am an area director in Toastmasters 1691 UK. So that's about my Toastmasters journey as well. Now, now time for me to give the highlight of the year for me personally. Now, I'm going to say I never thought I'm going to be an author. Uh, I nev never ever dreamed about that, dreamed about that. But the reality is my book, Small Town, Bigger Dreams, came earlier this year in Kindle and also paperback came out in November. It became one of the bestseller. It, in fact, it went on to become top five in the personal time management in Amazon India. And so far, to give you more statistics, we, statistics, we have sold over 300 copies, both in Kindle as well as in paperback version. If you recall, sometime back, I announced that the, we are going to sponsor two meals for people through the book sale. So it, the book has actually helped more than 240 people get a meal through Change with One Meal Foundation run by Mr. Kiran Verma. So I'm so, so grateful for all of you who have got the book, who have helped me in this journey of helping Kiran Verma, who is on a, on a journey, on a roll on his own. So thank you so much for that. Now, this review will be incomplete if I don't talk about my loss. And the biggest loss this year was when I lost my mother on 30th March 2021. My mother took her last breath. It was not expected. She was not in that zone to go away so soon, but reality is she's gone and we deeply, deeply miss her. And I feel so proud to be his son and I've learned so much over the years. And I, I think I'm going to live my life uh, by going through all the memories uh, of her and, and lessons that she taught us. So I miss you, Mama. So what's the plan for 2022? I'm going to say that 2020 was for exploration. 2021 was for creativity. And 2022 is going to be for growth. After a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, I've decided to pursue the journey of being a public speaking coach to help empower individuals become a better version of themselves. I've started doing the public speaking masterclass. If you or anyone you know would be interested in that, I'm going to put the link in the show notes, in the notes or as well as in the comment section, feel free to check it out. Also, you can join our vibrant Telegram community for public speaking enthusiasts where people learn, share and care for other public speaker and we all come together and help each other. So do check it out as well. Also, based on the feedback of many people earlier this year, I recognize that a lot of people want small town bigger dreams to be available on different platforms so we are going to work towards making small town bigger dreams available on other platforms for example barnes and nobles etc we're going to also work on creating the translated version of small town bigger dreams starting with the hindi copy so i'm so excited for that we're going to have the hindi copy come out later in 2022 and uh, yeah, a uh, bit of strategy thing. I love doing YouTube. I love doing podcasts. But I think with all the things going on, I'm going to be less frequent on this. So I'm going to st still post videos and post podcast interviews. But it's going to be way less than what I did in 2020 and 2021. I'm going to focus more on public speaking because this is where I think my true crawl my true calling is calling me. Uh, so I hope you will support me. You'll understand me and uh, do let me know what else I can do to better. And I wish you all a very happy new year 2022. Let us make this year the best year of our, of our life. I am so excited for myself. I'm so excited for you. Let's make it the best one. Once again, thank you. Take care and see you in 2022.